you won't get the update if you add it because it's not updated yet you have to wait for google chrome to approve the update just to make sure like it's safe and stuff if this updates then you're good to go so as new stuff there is a new theme designer and a theme there is animations by there but it's not in every single page to access the settings you can exit it from the settings now you don't have to go like from the extension or open settings menu you just click there and here's the settings as the new things we just have a new design and a designer and you can share themes by the way and download it first of all if you want help you can just join my discord server I also link a site for the extension it's just like a safety thing so i can like check it out by the way it's open source so it's 100 safe you can check the code by yourself the link should be down in the description so now we go back and we can disable the animations like these animations like if you lag you can just disable them if you want for me it's not laggy so i'm just gonna keep it after this menu we get to the designer here's the cool part from here you should have this default theme selected uh, you can create theme so let's call it hello and description let's say youtube as an example you can also import themes like from people who send you so then you here you can download and share it with people if you want and you can delete it also you can edit it so from here i can let me just show you in here the background the middle thing is this and the menus so background middle thing menus that's how it works you can put the shadow change the color if you want or put a border actually i don't want a border and you can actually change the color of the background for me i like the background as my youtube banner by the way it might look like this like very big but actually if i save it and use it make sure you select it so hello youtube and if i refresh here it's not big at all it happens because it thinks the whole screen is like the banner thing so it only shows you a little bit of it also because i have scroll turn it on let me just show you if i click on it because i have scroll enabled if i go down the background won't move normally you can just make it repeat and it will repeat you can play around with that you can put custom background for every single page like let's say for all the pages that doesn't have a custom background like i want it to have this if i if i now go to a game it will get this design instead of the old design but i actually like the normal one so let me just remove it so if i go to my profile as you guys can see this is like the normal thing i can make a border for this so let me just and let me put a border something like that let's say i want the profile thing to look like that so if i save it and refresh this make sure you save and refresh or it won't work as you guys can see it now has a circular type of thing i actually mostly like the double line so from here style double i really like that style now we can go to groups it's the same thing literally the same thing by the way then you do the profile you also change the friends to the thing so if i come right here the buttons are changed and the friends thing you can do the same thing for groups it's up to you for here we have the badges we can change the style of the badges the style of the servers you can change the default to change every one of them or just change one of them individually and right here as you see we can put custom designs for these badges by the way this is the hidden badges that's all about the designer okay you can change it the way you want it the border link and stuff like that yeah some pages doesn't have theme by the way i might fix that soon if that's all for roblox keys if you have any questions just join the discord server you can ask me there if you have any suggestions you can also suggest there and that's for this video see you next time